I really believe that research and, and clinical care go hand in hand, that you really, you can't do one well without paying attention to the other. And what we're trying to build here is a center where we really uh, grow these things together, where we have uh, you know, fantastic scientists that are working very hard to create something that is special, that is new, that improves patient care. And then we're working with patients to, to contribute to studies, to work with us to learn more about the therapies that we're providing so that as we are providing this cutting edge care, we are learning more about how to design the next generation care that's coming. My philosophy about education is that you, you educate primarily by building the best program you can that incorporates all the things that uh, you, you would want for any neuroscience center and institute. So we incorporate research, we incorporate uh, the finest patient care, we uh, incorporate collaboration among the centers. Uh, and then we put students and residents in that environment. We make them an integral part of it. We teach them how, uh, not, not just how to act in these environments, but how to help build them. We've had a wonderful uh, spine center here, the K-Cirque Spine Center, Kentucky Center for Spinal Cord Injury. Uh, they have, for several decades now, been doing cutting-edge research at every level of spinal care, whether it's uh, molecular uh, neuroscience research, all the way through to clinical studies with epidural stimulation. Uh, we're a unique center for that. No one else in the world is doing that. Uh, another area is cognition. This is an area that's uh, near and dear to my heart. I do a lot of deep brain stimulation, and in doing that, we're working to understand how basic circuits in the basal ganglia uh, are really enabling cognition uh, and are fundamental to everything from tasks that we do every day to uh, sports cognition, where athletes uh, in, in an elite setting uh, are having to make second, you know, millisecond decisions in order to, to perform at the highest level. Yes, yeah, so there's some specialists in, in tumor biology who are working to uh, understand the, the, the basic processes behind brain tumors. That's something that's been a tremendous frustration clinically and we're, I think, beginning to get uh, some leverage in how we can, we can treat that. We also have uh, sort of more immediate applications of engineering protocols that we're using to design newfound therapies. You know, today, for the most part, to take out a tumor, you have to make a big craniotomy, a big incision, take out some of the bone. Uh, we're able to do that in some cases now by drilling a very small hole and inserting a laser probe. Uh, and we have some designs on new robots that would allow us to do it without any incision, where we could insert uh, probes through something called the foramen ovale, a small hole in the base of the skull, and, and do that same uh, procedure without a single incision. We are uniquely poised at the University of Louisville to have an impact on the field uh, that, that really extends not just beyond a regional dominance, but national and international prominence. We, we really are there in some areas in spinal cord research. I think we can be there in multiple areas. Uh, and what we're bringing to that is not only the research expertise, the clinical expertise, but the integration of these two ideas, that we have groups of people working together to create a unique center for patient care and advancement.